I want to start by saying that, you know, you have to have the desire to be able to make more money. It is not bad for us to make more money. It is not also bad for us to be content. The Bible says we should be content. But the Bible also says we should be hard working. So it is, it, it, I mean, we have to balance this very well. If your income is not enough, you need other sources of income. And if even you feel your income is enough, there's nothing wrong with you making some other money that you can use for leisure. Some people plan towards going on vacation, doing some other things. All this money can come in handy. this episode of times of refreshing i'm your host doing your colleague i really want to say a big thank you for all your comments that you sent our way during our last broadcast i hope you had a nice time watching my broadcast with dr chichin waje an eye doctor a business consultant and a miracle director there's a lot to learn from such people now let's go to the business of the day Today on Times of Refreshing, like I promised the last time, we want to talk about how to create other sources of income. You know, the days we live in, these are very interesting days because, for instance, the internet has exposed us to a lot of things and it has made the world to become just like a global place, a place where... You know, we can connect one another in the twinkling of an eye. A place where, you know, we can relate with one another in a lot of ways. And that's going to be one of the reasons, one of the ways that I'm going to share with us to create extra income. So what are the kind of incomes we have? There are different kind of incomes, but I just want to zero down on two today. One of them is, you know, our active income. The money we get from working and receiving either a pay either by weekly, weekly or monthly, you know. And then we have other incomes which are like passive income. Those are money that we receive for other things that we do. And you can also look at it as residual income, which if even you're not working at that time, you will still keep making money. So passive income are incomes that you get from other sources of work that you do. Either you sell something on the internet or you do a, a lesson, you teach, you do a broadcast and things like that, you get some money. Residual incomes are incomes like people who do like adverts or, you know, let's talk about the GPS that we use. They, you have recorded voices of them. Those people that did the recording, they still get paid like in royals no matter what they do every time it's bought somebody gets to pay them so those are like residual income those are things that we need to have so that at least we can use them to support whatever our active incomes are so today i'm, I'm just going to share with you a couple of things that can give you extra income i want to start by saying that you know you have to have the desire to be able to make more money it is not bad for us to make more money it is not also bad for us to be content the bible says we should be content but the bible also says we should be hard working so it is it, it, i mean we have to balance this very well if your income is not enough you need other sources of income and if even you feel your income is enough there's nothing wrong with you making some other money that you can use for leisure. Some people plan towards going on vacation, doing some other things. All this money can come in handy. So one of the things I want to talk about is that you can actually do, you know, marketing. You can sell things. What are the things that you know that are in trend? For everything you need to do to make 
income i want to also advise please look it up check it out look at the downside the upside look at the pros and the cons look at the laws guiding these things because in some of this country you know there are laws guiding everything that we need to do so you need to look at that you need to find that out so you can also be you you, you can do marketing and marketing has gone you know beyond what we know it to be you might market on your own or you can also market you know group marketing you can approach people who have products who produces things and talk to them about the fact that you can market their pro products for them and you can make some commission out of it do you know that the days we live in some people don't even leave their homes and they still make money because you can decide to take surveys at home if you have an internet you're ready to make money you can take surveys it might come in trickles but remember their passive income they are to support what you already make and it can be what somebody makes you know if you don't have a job right now so you can take service online how do you do that you know thank god for i was i always say thank for god for mr google who right now you can search anything on google and it will pop up go search how to take service and be paid for it when you take those surveys, they tell you what you need to do and how to make money. And the good thing about it is because you are doing it from the comfort of your home or your office or comfort of your device, you can do it as many as you want and make as much as you want. However, like I said, check the rules guiding it so that you don't just take surveys in vain. Also, you can start your own online business. There are so many businesses online right now that people can do, that people are doing. Like I'm talking to you, if I have a business that I want to promote, I can promote it. I can decide to teach online. I can put, you know, a program together that can use to teach English to the first learners of English. Those who do not speak English, like English as the first language, I can do that. You can teach people several things online and make money through it and also you can start a blog when you start a blog online if you have enough followership enough viewing guess what you can make money on through it do you know that people that post things on youtube useful information when they get so much viewership so much audience so much clicks they make money it is not good enough for us to just say, oh, I need to make other sorts of income. You have to explore. Explore how YouTube does this and you will know how to make money on that. And you can, there was something I started some time back on Shopify. There you have Shopify, you have, um, I think it's called, uh, it's B, it, there's eBay shop, there's Amazon. You can start all those things. All you just need is your device and internet you read the laws guiding them you know how to do drop shopping you know i got that when i was doing that i started a store on shopify and you can look at what people need when you know what people need then you begin to stock your store and see how to sell them what you need to pay you know to stock them and what that particular you know, app store need you to fulfill before you can do it. When you do that, there's no end to what you can make, especially if you take time to look at their tutorials, whereby they tell you what is moving, what people need, and you stock your store with that, your online store, and sell. There's a lot of them. You just need to find them also there. What about web designing? So many people are so artistically inclined, and yet we don't know what to do with it. You can start doing web designing. You can you, you, you can put website together for people and make some money off it. Look into it, get to know what to do, and you'll make money from it. What about freelance freelancing? You can be a freelance writer. You can be a writer like me. I wrote a book. And I tell you, even though that's not my 
uh, that's not the end of all things all all i want to do with the book well at least at the end of the day i was able to make some money that i decided to invest in my next book so you can also be a freelance writer see something write it if you go online there are so many people who are looking for people to write about act to write articles about certain things to write poems to you know also uh, edit their work all this brings little money the other day a friend of mine actually a sister in the church thank so much thank her for her told me about itutor itutor is an online service whereby you register and you can teach adults ELS English as a second language and you make some money those things are just waiting for us to tap into them. There are opportunities that we need to find about. If you do not explore, you will not know about them. There's so much to write about. If you are somebody that loves to draw, you can become a graphic artist. You can make cards. There are so many things you can make to help you, you know, make some residual income. I know there's still so much to talk about, but I want to round up this section. Maybe the next time before we start what we're going to do, we might be able to talk a little bit about it. But for the little I've talked about, I want to encourage you, explore. Look for opportunities. You know how to sell, sell products. You know how to, you know, it's there's this popular saying, necessity is the mother of invention. You might think your invention might not matter, but if, there, if there's something you know that people need, you can look into trying to reinvent it, making it better, or think of new things that you can come up with. You can write program, you can start a blog, you can freelance, you can write a book, you can have shops online, be, you can be a freelance marketer, you can approach stores that have products and tell them that you can stock their products and sell it online for them and through all this you'll be able to make a lot of money whatever you know how to do that's your talent put it to use and you will see how you blows up until next time on times of refreshing i would not want to stop without giving a shout out to my hairdresser kimmy hairstyles and she's called Kemi Wiliki. Thank you for this wonderful hair. And I've gotten so many, so many likes and comments from this hair. Keep the good work up. And I want to say a big thank you to all our viewers today. Thank you for staying tuned. Until next time on Times of Refreshing, when we we'll talk about another interesting topic, I want you to share, like, follow, and stay blessed. Thank you. Bye-bye. Make sure to like our Facebook page at Times of Refreshing with Pastor Toyin and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Times of Refreshing with Pastor Toyin and you will be truly blessed.